Hi there. This is my second video on the Westlake Performer Eurorack module. It's a sequencer, it's open source. It's pretty cool. Last time I went through how to do kind of basic note sequencing and modulation sequencing. Uh, this time I'm going to show you track routings and what we can do with these CV inputs along the top here and what we can do to make the sequences play off each other. So it's quite powerful and I'm only just discovered it, but I'm pretty into it. So to start with, I'm going to just set up a basic sequence. Today I'm using my spherical wavetable navigator from 4MS, running it through the QPass, and that's it. So basic sequence, oh, it should be in the gate screen. There we go. Big tough wavetable sound. into CV input one. We can also use that exact same screen, the routing screen, to assign that to control the parameters that we saw before. So we go to next, new target please. I'm gonna target octaves. Unfortunately, you can only have one routing targeting the transpose at a time. Which, you know, what's life without a few limitations, but would have been nice to be able to have multiple things smashing the transpose around, but whatever. So we'll settle for Octave though, that'll be fun. Track two again. Source input one and commit. And there you go, you can hear it throwing Octaves into our sequence now. So we very quickly got this pretty long sequence. That's supposed to be quick. 
Zachary. Look, not saying it's the best sequence in the world, just demonstrating a thing here, all right? But we can, you know, we've still got three more CV inputs here, so what's some fun we can do with those? What else can we assign CV to? Well, probably a good one is division. So let's grab another LFO, chuck it into CV2. Let's go to the routing screen again. Go to next. Let's go to... Yeah, cool. Alright, so track two. So we want the source to be CV input two. Commit. What kind of LFO? I've got a swear wave. Let's do this one. <laughs> so that's really uh, thrown it for six, that one. If you're looking for that wonky as fuck sequence, then there you go. <laughs> Fun. You can see it jumping around now, having a little party. Yeah, so maybe that doesn't sound that great, but this is a demo. Just pull that out, and we're good to go. I think it actually holds a division from that. So if we just, you know, I've got to turn it off for it to. There we go. If you're at all familiar with my channel, you probably know I don't really make techno or house or whatever you want to call this but I have a long history of doing this as well what happens if we turn this an octave down so yeah that's writing screen I think it's a pretty awesome little addition to what's already a kick-ass sequencer and remember we can also throw in like re-triggers and stuff on that as well so and yeah so uh, thanks for watching i hope i uh sold you a little more on this awesome module cheers